swappable custom lock screen controls, custom control center widgets, the ability to bold and italicize text in messages, the ability to lock or hide apps with face ID or touch ID, reminders that can now show up in your calendar and can also be completed there, flashlight upgrades, a new game mode that can sustain high frame rates for hours, sending cash with a tap, vacuuming your house with your voice, and lots of extra details like the new power button and control center among many others. Today I want to give you my no fluff guide to help you maximize iOS 18's best new features, while also showing off not just the cool wallpaper packs you'll find linked up in the description, but also showing off some of the great new app updates that can help you take full advantage of what iOS is now capable of. So let's go ahead and start with the new swappable lock screen controls. If I hold down on my lock screen and go to customize and lock screen, I can now delete one of these buttons here and add a new one of my choosing. Have you ever, for instance, wished that you could quickly and easily access your favorite camera app and you weren't stuck with the default shortcut? Well, Halide, as you can see, is one developer who's already taken advantage of the ability to let users swap out that camera app for the app of their choice. This actually has bigger implications than you might realize because the easier it is to access an app, the more likely you are to use it, which in this case could make the difference between capturing an important moment with a default camera app or with a professional level camera. Another big change here in iOS 18 is the ability to customize what your control center looks like. So you can come in and delete actual widgets here or you can add additional controls. If I swipe down, I can actually do in one continuous motion a swipe that takes me through all the new control screens. Now, while it definitely is cool to be able to delete or change the size of these controls, what's maybe the best thing here is that you can go in and add custom controls that never existed before, which app developers can now start adding in, like these from Streaks, which lets me add in the ability to complete tasks now right into my control center. So part of the benefit here is that you can declutter your home screen. If you love that wallpaper, you can keep more of it visible, or let's say you've got a face on here and you don't want to cover it up. Well, then you can go ahead and store controls that you don't want to clutter up your home screen with right in Control Center. And by the way, you can also add in shortcuts, so those can be run right out of Control Center now as well. Now, real quick, before we get into the other updates, I do want to make sure you're aware of Brain.fm. This is one of my favorite apps and most used apps of all time. Honestly, I'm not sure any of the iOS 18 updates are going to be more beneficial to you than just downloading and using Brain.fm. Brain.fm is focus music, but it's not just noise. It's scientifically proven to increase your focus, and it can help you reach your max focus in just five minutes. So whether you're doing some actual deep work, or you need some motivation, or you're looking to be more creative, the good news here is that you can try it out for free for 30 days using the link down in the description. Personally, I've been getting a lot of use out of the new Lightwork playlist. It's crazy how much it increases my enjoyment when I'm doing some work and just how much more productive I feel. And here's the thing, if you've never tried it, then you literally don't know what you're missing out on. It's one thing for me to describe it, it's another thing for you to experience it. That's why I'm glad they're giving you 30 days to check it out for yourself. You can do so at brain.fm slash daily tech to grab that free trial, or you can just use the link in the description to bring this to your own lock screen. I highly recommend it. Now, you're probably already aware that you can customize your home screen more than you've ever been able to before. You can give larger or smaller icons with different looks. You can tint so that they match to be whatever the color of your choice would be. And I just wanna make it clear, it's not just the icons themselves that end up with a different look when you do that, it's also your widgets as well, which is pretty cool. It's a good way to reflect your personality, make your phone stand out a bit. And there's a good reason I'm showing off Calzy a lot in today's video, because Calzy has some great iOS 18 updates, like this ability to start a live activity so that when you're out of the app, you can see it will minimize your calculator up into your dynamic island, number one, but also number two, if I go to the lock screen, I'll now be able to see that calculator right there. So if you never figured it out, one of the benefits of this sort of feature is that it makes it easier to multitask without having to jump back and forth in between apps. And not only that, but something called App Intense has now been updated as well. And that means that an app like Lifter here for weightlifting can now have even deeper Siri shortcuts integration even when the app's not open. So as app developers begin taking advantage of these under the hood upgrades, you're gonna be able to do things like manage your fitness routine using nothing but your voice, which could come in handy if your hand's full with a barbell or some dumbbells, but you'll also be able to do things like ask Siri about your latest workout or Siri can remind you 
when your last workout was without you even getting into the app. Now, the iPhone isn't Apple's only device, of course, and iOS 18 works together with macOS to now let you mirror your iPhone screen on your Mac, which enhances your cross-device functionality. So maybe you've never thought about this, but if you like the idea of being able to control and access your iPhone with all of its apps, for instance, on a bigger display, now that's a possibility. It's gonna be great for app demonstrations, for multitasking, it can just make your workflow far more efficient across your devices. I do wanna mention that I've already talked a bit about how the new notes features work in my iPad OS 18 video, which I published yesterday, so you can check that out down below. The features are essentially the same over on the iPhone, so you can highlight text now in a variety of different colors. You have collapsible sections, which is great, not only for focusing in on just one particular part of a document if it's very long, but also for rearranging that document by moving big chunks or entire sections around very easily. And I also mentioned the new scenes functionality in Freeform, which is a great way to navigate around your boards. That works over on the iPhone here as well, but check out my dedicated video on that if you wanna go in depth. Or you can even check out my Freeform course called Freeform Unleashed, which will help you get way more out of what is one of my all-time favorite Apple apps on any device. This is an iPhone 14 Pro Max. I'm gonna have the latest iPhone 16 Pro Max in my hands in a matter of days if you'd like to see the unboxing. But for those people who don't have the latest device, like this 14 Pro Max here, but still wanna capture spatial content, both photos and videos, I thought I'd go ahead and mention this app called Spatial Camera, which lets you record, even if you have an iPhone 11 Pro or newer, spatial content, which is pretty cool if you wanna save those memories and use it with the Apple Vision Pro. So that's it for today's video. The wallpapers are linked up down below. Don't forget to check out my courses. There's a new one you can pre-order and get two additional courses for free immediately. That's linked up down in the description and I'll catch you in the next video. Later.